Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Age of Wonders Planetfall Let's Play as the Assembly, led by Party 1337. This is going to be a very action-packed episode as we not only retake Rotgar, but we also head down south to hopefully bring about the fall of Frank Vance. Uh, as we take Kevin Don. It's going to be a pretty scary episode, actually. We stand to lose quite a few troops. We have one, two, three, four full stacks against one, two, three, four, you know, five ish full stacks altogether uh, without much time, I think, to replenish troop counts uh, between these two battles. Like, it'll be a couple of turns during which I might be able to get something out of uh, Hyperion over here, uh, a, a city that actually needs a new name, by the way. I don't think we, uh, I don't think I saw any in the comments, so feel free to let me know any name suggestions you have for Hyperion. I do have one for Rotgar, but unfortunately got taken from me at the last moment. We'll fix that when we take it back. Uh, there were a couple of comments that I will be addressing over the course of this uh, session as well. Uh, for one, for example, why am I not recruiting higher tier units like the uh, the Wrecker or whatever it's called? Uh, that's because I need to complete these elite military facilities before I can do that. So up there and down over here, in fact, in in, in a turn, uh, we'll complete the elite military facility and then we'll be able to recruit the assembly wreckers. So don't worry, the higher tier units are about to start popping out. Uh, apart from that, something that was pointed out was that as far as my research is concerned, I should really consider going back to some of these earlier steps to get some of the other options and the other uh, benefits of playing, you know, particularly as, for example, the Sinumbra over here. There are some options that are quite tempting. So what I think I will do is uh, after we finish Energy Development 2, which will take, oh, that'll take 12 turns. If I swap now, it'll take four turns. It'll be, the, the uh, sadistic indoctrinations would be nice to have before our uh, battle against Frank Vance. And uh, initiation rites, I mean, the sooner you have that, the better, I guess. In addition, your Sinumbra units spawn an Echo of Despair upon death that lasts until the end of combat. That sounds extremely useful uh, when we're likely to, you know, be losing units. So let's go ahead and focus on Shadow's Manifest first. And then with the military chain, after we're done the Dark Lament, I'm actually going to go back and maybe recruit some of these old ones. In fact, I might even want to do that right now. Hmm. Because, for example... Flesh Terror implants are quite helpful. Uh, I've skipped past the, uh, I think this is Flechette, as I'm guessing how that's pronounced. Uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, we've also got over here the option of electrified ammunition or the rail accelerators, which increases accuracy and gives extra range to, to ranged weapons. So there's a couple of things that I've kind of been, uh, I guess I, I've kind of been ignoring uh, for for want of going to higher tier stuff sooner. But as a result of that, I've been missing out on... Um, you know, some of those early mods and, 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 and boosts and buffs. So thanks for pointing all that out in the comments. It does really help me realign myself and remember what's important rather than just showing all the fancy stuff, which, you know, might result in me losing the game. Many of you do, in fact, want to see a successful game and don't mind me spending the time back over here. That's the struggle I always have when I'm making videos. Uh, I, I want to mention as well really quickly that if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Uh, so don't hesitate to do that. It uh, it just helps direct the channel a little bit. Uh, gives you some influence. Now, over here, how are we going to play this? We could get this... We could stack on this army over here, uh, which has two heroes. Holy crap. Uh, we've got this Enforcer over here. Just trying to figure out what how exactly I want to play this. Focus of Flames, Consuming Gaze. Okay, that's scary. And the Arc Retaliation Defense, fair enough. Just reminding myself of all this, more Arc Retaliation Defense. So, gotta be very careful about going into melee against some of these fools, uh, which is unfortunate. And over here, what have we got? We've got you. Yeah, I basically have to stay out of melee with these guys, but I can't do that because that's how... It's kind of how we're specced. This is gonna be an interesting fight, that's, uh, that's for sure. That's for sure, and morale is at zero for these guys, right? Yeah. No one's particularly affected. That's okay. What we're going to do, and many of you have been thinking along the same lines that I've been thinking, is we'll hit this main army with uh, the Vision of Darkness. Hopefully get that morale reduction as well as that 20% damage. Soften them up for an easy battle. And uh, and then hopefully recharge it in time for the battle down over here and hit another army down there. Anyway, enough time talking. Let's get that action started. Let's go ahead and launch the Vision of Darkness. And... Uh, 60% chance of success. You know, that's 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 a decent dice roll, right? Let's do it. Let's take it. Ah, god damn it. It's okay. At least we got the damage in there. Uh, that'll definitely help. At least we got the damage in there. Uh, let's go ahead and move you 
down to here maybe and then bring the attack in from over here yeah sure just so that i'm quicker to push down this way afterwards yeah so let's get you over to here all right should be able to reinforce now let's get you over to here let's do this here goes 24 34 hold on a second why are we only seeing two of my armies hmm what that attack you should be able to come in as well. Well, let's go ahead and move you maybe... Yeah, you should be able to come in from there. Well, just in case, let's go ahead and move you to here. And that should be good enough. There we go. 3589 versus 1943. It's a difference of about 1500. It's about 1600 of a difference. Uh, do I still fight this on my own or do I let the AI take care of it? It's not highlighting manual combat as a necessity, but you know what? Uh, things like this, I think, are better done manually. It's a lot more fun, I think, to see the losses that might occur by uh, by player error, by human error. So let's dive on in. This is the fleshy side of our cyborg selves. Let's dive on into combat, folks. Let's see what we can do. A little nervous. It's going to be a long fight. I hope you guys are down for that. <laughs> I hope you guys are down for that, because it's, it's going to be a long one. That's a lot of troops on the other side. At least that left side here is softened up already, so we can chase after that, apply some pressure over here, and maybe, you know, reduce their, their damage output per turn. And speed this up a little bit. I'd, I'd rather watch where they go. Uh, for the record, I'm aware that I can speed things up and move things along, uh, and, you know, even, even get auto combat going so that I can intervene rather than have to, uh, you know, control every step. Um, I'm aware of that, but thank you for pointing it out. I just don't necessarily want to do it, I suppose. Uh... Hence me not doing it. Uh, maybe maybe if this battle gets going for far too long, I might uh, I might triple speed some things or even auto combat. So let's see. You have put up the little force field thing of yours, right? The Cytec shield. Oh man. Okay. Um. I think what I'll do is we've got a fair bit of damage output over here in this set of units. We've got the Vorpal uh, sniper back here. It is the murder.exe type. We've got the ICUP 2.0 as well. Um, I'm wondering if I kind of like creep up to this area as I as I usually do and slowly make my way forward to try and deal with these fools and uh, and this fool as well. Jack Jacopo of House Egden. Melee type. What's this? Deploy cerebral control collars. Attempt to control target non-mindless infantry unit. Oh dear lord. That that will really suck if they manage to get some of our higher tier units. We've got a lot of weight on that side already. Over here, I'm wondering... It'd be great to get this support somewhere out as well to get the sentencing out. Like, somewhere out to the side. Uh, or, of course, we can step forward and try to get the rockets out nice and early. No real spot to hit them with. I mean, we could maybe get up there. And move you up like so. Let's try this. Let's get you up to there. No line of sight. Nah, can't can't do it. Of course, this building is blocking our shots. Well, fine. Let's go ahead and move you up to here, because that way I can use targeting, or not targeting, but sentencing on either of these sides. So let's get you in a bit of a centralized position here. Right? Get you facing that way. And, unfortunately, can't sentence anything, so defense mode for you. Um, Everything over here first, eh? Everything over here first? Sure. You've got that sniper rifle could just step you up this way and get you to overwatch. It's a little too far. Hmm. Let's, uh... Let's, sure, let's step forward and to the side like that. And we'll get that overwatch going down this way so that if anybody decides to come... towards us, we'll have that shot in. Let's get you... Are you able to step forward and fire? Nah, it's gonna be the same thing. Give me the same thing. Let's go ahead and move you up to uh, here, perhaps. Here, let's move you up to here. And we can't sentence from here, unfortunately. Oh, we can. Okay, great. Uh, let's go ahead and sentence you, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and sentence you. Might as well. So when they come towards us, we'll have that overwatch with a bit more success. Chance for success, I should say. Uh, now, if I pull you up to there, we're likely going to get grenaded to death. Can pull up to here, can pull up to here, also risky, can pull up to here. Uh, I think, again, I'm going to keep my distance a little bit, right? So let's go ahead and push up to here. Or let's push up to here. We'll get into defense mode. We'll face that way, of course. 
Okay, let's get you into defense mode. You, my melee friend, 46 health, but still... All these grenades. Got one. Oh no, okay, we've got two sets of grenades over there. Maybe three, and then we've got the, uh... The punching capability of the Super Saiyan <laughs> Enforcers. Super Saiyan, you kidding me? Come on. Uh, fine, you know what? Let's go ahead and move you up to... Move you up to here. And we'll get you into this uh, hyper armor mode. Cool. And you, my good friends, will move on up to... Here, here as well. Because then I'm able to move these two together. So uh, we're, we're trying to make a bit of a holding force over here. Uh, while over here we need to be maybe a little bit more aggressive. We do have these guys over here. We've got the Hopper Hound that's able to jump into combat. Air leap ability. Don't want to be exposed though. If anything's going to die, I'd rather it be that Hopper Hound. You and you. Okay, fine. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and pull you up to here. Right, because from there you can maybe leap in. I, again, I, don't, I have no love for that Hopper Hound. Go ahead and face that way. Go ahead and defense mode for you. Up over here, we're able to move up a little bit and maybe charge our uh, our weapons. You, we could get up to here and get a construct built over here. In kind of dangerous because of the grenades. Where are the grenades? There's well, support troops need to go down. The closest grenade is over there, so they can come up to here and toss a nade. Just got to keep that in mind. It would be just the one though. Okay. Go ahead and get you up to. Here, we'll get you into defense mode. All right, there we go. Get you up to... Get you up to here, overwatching that way. Or, okay, let's try this. Let's get you up to here first. Overwatch down this way. Yeah, we're not going to spot them. Not from back there. You, my good friend, we could push you up to... Let's see here and put a construct down to either side I suppose that's my that's my thinking for the first step let's move you up construct out this could have maybe come closer and dropped the shot over here but fine uh, I think that would have been too much of a risk let's go get the construct out to here here Worried about the grenades coming in. Well, it'll be just the one, but still, you know. I want to minimize the damage it, it, it delivers. Uh, we can get you all the way up to, say, here. Kind of risky. It might get focused down on, but what are you going to do? We'll, we'll get into defense mode. We'll get into defense mode. Let's rotate you that way. Defense mode for you and you with the shotgun. Up over here, perhaps. And defense mode. Again, we want to be a little aggressive on this side. Holding on the right, pushing on this side. Defense mode for you. Over here. Man, we got a lot of units. We can get you up to here. Get the overwatch looking this way. Bit of a kill box over there. Hopefully it'll actually come in, in handy. Get you... Hmm. Seven tiles, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna reach anybody. Uh, with that said, could still get into position like over here, so next turn we can step and shoot, potentially. Or I can get a position over here so I can step and shoot this way. If I even need to step at that point. Sure, let's go ahead and up to here. Get up to there. I mean, I wouldn't have minded an Overwatch opportunity, but... This is fine, I think. Uh, let's get you moving up to... We should hopefully get like a bit of... It's like an enveloping maneuver being prepared here. I'm wondering if we split a little bit. Apply a little bit more pressure on this side. Uh, we could get you over to here. Face the right direction. Again, we kind of want to stay out of melee with these guys. Uh, I could get up to here, overwatch this way. I get up to here, overwatch this way. Get up there. Overwatch in that general direction. 
Let's get you moving up to where? Well, let's get you moving up to here. Right? Yep. Into defense mode. Face that way. Alright, and let's get you... I feel like we could use some more firepower over here, even if it's just to hold the area, you know? Let's get you up to here. Face that way. And defensive mode. Alright, that's the turn. That's a lot of units, holy crap. That's a big battle. Okay, that's the turn. There they come. Alright, in comes the first grenade. Arc bolos, I guess, not technically a grenade. Okay, a little bit of reviving going on. I don't mind I don't mind if it happens early, I guess. You're gonna come up any overwatch? Nope. Okay, okay, we're fine. Oh, okay, still good. Put on over here, a little bit of teleportation action. That's not good. Okay, at least we resisted the broken mind, but they've kind of put themselves in a position where I should be able to defeat them pretty quickly. If I can focus down on them. Are you gonna come up? You're gonna heal these guys, I think. Yep. That's good. It's good. Sci-Tech revitaliz revitalization, I believe, can go much higher. Though they're kind of wasting it, I guess. And comes the grenade over here. Fair enough. Not surprised. And you're gonna bring your grenade in here as well. That's kind of starting to hurt a little bit. Sting in a little bit. We might lose that, but again, it's not the end of the world if we do. I won't be all that sad about it. Ultimately, you can get a grenade in as well. Impossible. Okay, good. <laughs> that would have been a bit of a bummer. Operations ready. All right. So this thing is, what, staggered to death? Fair enough. Uh, you. We can fire down here. We can f sentence you as well. Wouldn't mind stepping out and get this rocket, getting this rocket down here. Problem is they do have their shields and stuff. We've got you guys as well, able to roll in, get some clawing in, or get the, uh, uh, you know, get the shotgun shots in. Let's see. If I'm lucky I get the, uh, crit on this. Really, just to step out. Just to step out. Okay, let's go ahead and step over a little. I'm a little worried about this. I'm not gonna lie. Got the grenade as well. Well, not sorry. I've got the uh, dispersing gas bomb. No range on that. Okay, fine. Go ahead and step to the side here. I'm gonna make some room for these guys. And fire up here. Come on, baby, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good, okay. So now I can step forward with you. I can get right up in this guy's face, actually. Come with a flanking shot. Could also sentence you. I could pull you back to sentence instead as well. And do some sentencing over there. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and sentence you first. Even if I step forward, I don't think I'll be able to uh, cause much damage here. Mm. Pull you back to here. Fine, you know what? Let's do this. Pull you back to here. Get you to sentence them. Done. So now you take this risky step forward. Risky step forward. We can get right up to there. We can get up to there. We're way in the open. That's the thing that worries me. Is like we're completely in the open. Come on. Take it. Take it. You. It says we've got the three action points, but I guess we've been immobilized. Yeah, immobilized. Okay, fair enough. Which is, a, again, a bit of a bummer. Uh, I could step forward and get a shot from over here, or I could go in for the clawing action, I suppose. Would put them into put them into a position where uh, we'll trigger Overwatch melee. Uh, plus, we've got the uh, the arc retaliation defense as well. I wish I could come to this side. Should have done it with these guys. Okay, bit of a risk. Let's do it though. What's life without risks, right? Okay, just a little graze. That's not so good. Go ahead and step on over to the side here. 
Minimal hit chances, but, you know, we could get a little bit of damage out. Try and get some damage out there. We could try and hit you. There is a chance of scatter, though, so we might just hurt ourselves. We also have operations available. Embrace of Darkness. We could kill Buddy here. We could kill Buddy here. Fine, let's try it. Damage, Broken Mind as well. Hopefully that Broken Mind isn't going to last very long. Okay, let's try Let's try this. Come on, baby. Work. Nice. Hero killed. Nice, nice. Hopefully that uh, plays out as advantageously as I as I like to think it will. Do you in defense mode? All right. Now this pressure over here that we need to apply. Uh, just short of being able to jump up there. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, if I get the shotguns out, how far up do I need to move? Pretty far up. Pretty far up. I, I was wondering if I could focus this guy down, right? We've got you as well. We can step forward. Now we got to move proper. We can get up to here and fire down there. Try to focus on, on Buddy. Don't know if we'll be able to kill him completely is the thing. Getting a rocket out seems pointless. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to kill both of them. Or damage both of them, I should say. And this, a step out. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can stack the damage best. Hmm. I could move up, combat jump into there, get some shots in. Alright, you know, I think there's enough damage output to maybe finish him off. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's go ahead and move you up to... Here, just so that these guys are a little bit farther away. Okay, let's move you up to here. Turn around and fire. Very low hit chances. Very little damage output. Come on. Okay, at least we got the one in. You're able to move up to, say, about here and shotgun. Worth a shot. Sure, let's try it. Let's get you up to there. Again, we, we might lose some troops this battle, right? Okay, I'll take the grays. I will take the grays. Uh, you can't get up there. You... Again, we could move up to, say, here. Get that down on him. Bit of a waste. Two turn cooldown, though, so at least the damage output... Not, not the end of the world. I'm worried they're going to heal up. Yeah, let's move you over to here. I'm trying to keep my distance from these guys so they have to move and shoot. Get you over to... The other thing I can do, of course, is I can jump to here, move in, and melee. His jumping doesn't take any uh, action points. So maybe I save it for that. Maybe I save it for that. Let's see, if I get you up to here... Be able to shoot, I guess. Yeah, let's try and get a little aggressive over here. A little worried. Maybe getting too aggressive. Oh, I would love that crit over here. God damn it. <laughs> Foolish party. Foolish party. Uh, I can move up to here, fire up there. This feels like an opportunity to get rid of that unit is why I'm saying that. I could also use the uh, consuming gaze. You have 17 hit points. Okay. Consuming gaze is the way to go then. Go ahead and pull up to here. Hmm. Yes, let's pull up to here. Have some cover, at least. And then, let's go ahead and get that Consuming Gaze up here. Right, they have the Resistance, I'm guessing. Yes, I should have accounted for that. About the same damage. One is Guaranteed Hits. Let's go with the Guaranteed Hits, I think. Even though... Might have been wise to save that for heals later on. What's life without some risks, as I like to say. We can move you up to fire down there. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's move you up to there. A couple of pings here. Just a couple of pings. God damn it. We could step out over here. Get a shot in. The, the blinding snapshot can cause damage as well. 
could get up to here and get that shot in. Risk with a sniper. See, if I step out, I'm not going to be able to fire very accurately, is my concern. Let's take this risk. Let's go. Can use that blinding snapshot and hope it gets enough damage out. Come on. Oh, amazing. Well, <laughs> I say amazing, but what I mean is wasteful, I suppose. Good stuff. Got that mark as well. Uh, now. Now. We can jump. Through the structure here. Dive on in. And get into uh, attack mode. Overwatch on Mr. Graze. Okay, fair enough. In that case, let's go ahead and move you up to... I'm trying to... My numbers here. Okay, if I move you up to there, and our uh, combat jump is three tiles. One, two, three. Okay, we won't be close enough, really. Wow. I mean, I can move you up to here. Let's try this. Let's go up to there. Combat jump. Uh, good. Cancel all that stuff. And we can still get in there. Only get one strike in, but at least it's something. Go for it. Okay, good stuff. Good enough, I should say. Let's get you up to here. I kind of want to keep a little bit of distance in case the grenades start rolling out. I don't think they will. So let's go, actually, let's go ahead and just pop in over there. Okay, so far so good. I think. Back over here, still have some guns. Move up over here, fire down that way. Leave ourselves exposed a little bit over there, but not the end of the world, I don't think. So sure, let's go up to there. Get a shot down there. And get some damage out, why not? Not gonna complain. Now we over here can step forward this way. What's that, 30% chance to hit? Hmm. Quite a few units actually still have the ability to move. I'm uh, forgetting all these guys, right? Could get up to here, worried about being focused down, because they still have three of these units over here that are kind of scary. Okay, let's move up to here. Just get the one shot. Is that worth it? Okay, let's step up here. See what, what difference that makes. None. I want to do this instead. Get you up to here. Just finish you off. Do it. Nice. Using this offensively rather than defensively, I suppose, but at least using it. Go ahead and get you up to, say, here. Face the right way. Defense mode. Let's get you up to... Get up to here, get a couple shots on them, or get up to here, get one more accurate shot on them. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to move up to here and I'm going to take a couple of shots on them. 65% isn't bad. Come on. Come on. Okay. I will take that. Both hit. One was a graze. It's not terrible. All right. I believe that's everything. Indeed it is. Good aggressive moves there. Let's see what they do. There's that overwatch. Oh, got the crit on it too. All right. All right. What are you trying here? Oh, that's bad. That unit's gonna drop, isn't it? Yeah, that unit's gonna drop. Unit down. Yikes, I pushed them a little too too far forward. These guys are gonna drop as well. That's fair. Again, not, you know, not a unit I'm too attached to. That's not good. Alright, here comes their damage. Felt good so far, but now I'm starting to feel real bad. Okay, we're still okay. We're still okay. What are you going to do? You're going to fire down over here? Okay, fair enough. I think we've got more than enough of an advantage. More than enough of an advantage. It's just a matter of being careful now, though. I don't want to lose units needlessly because we have, we're have we ba basically going into back-to-back -back battles, right? So we just have to be careful. Okay, Overwatch canceled at the end there. Immobilize for one more turn over here. Okay. That wasn't the worst. That wasn't the worst. I, th I say we start from over here again. Uh, I can get you in there to take care of you. And then you can come up over here and eliminate these guys. So that's good. You we can send up to here to fire down. All right. Hmm. 
Too bad this rocket's all the way out over here, eh? Too bad. Okay, um... Go ahead and get you up there and hopefully finish them off. Cannot miss her graze. You cannot miss her graze. Let's go. You know the problem with this? That was uh, interesting camera movements there, but at least we got the kill. I was just about to say, the problem with doing that was that I just kind of wasted the kill XP on, uh, on on the construct. However, the XP right now, I would say, is not my priority. I think my priority is... Um, surviving. I managed to... What the hell? You... What? Why did you manage to fall back? I guess you have a teleportation ability. Okay, it's fine. Nothing in the world. I guess the XP wasn't wasted. Good step up here, get a shot up over here so you can go up there and finish him off instead. I think that's worth it. Yeah, let's get you up there. Slice and dice, finish him off. Enemy hero killed. Nicely done. And you, yeah, let's go ahead and move you. I mean, I could just go in with the claws, right? No need to heal up or anything, though, is the only, is the only thing. Let's get right up over here and fire from, like, point blank. They do have their arc retaliation defense, unfortunately, but we take care of them quickly enough, as we do with crits. It's not going to be a problem. Oh, you. Get you up to here to fire, maybe. Some choices there. Some decision to be made there. Over here, we can just kind of roll up and fire down there, though, I think. And we get up there to fire at you. 45% chance. I'd rather fire up there, I think. Let's get you. Up over here should be a clear shot. Be an easy shot. Are you serious? Not gonna die? Ow. That resistance. Oh yeah, two arc resistance. Fair enough. Hmm. Feels like a wasted shot. That could get you up to fire up there instead. Fire up there instead as well with you. Oh, if I get lucky, I could destroy that unit. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing with the uh, murder.exe Vorpal Sniper. We're going to step over here. We're going to try and get the shot in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Nice. That is a beautiful snipe. That was a beautiful, beautiful snipe. Okay. We can step up and fire over here. We'll deal with those guys later, though. Get you up to... Over... Hmm. They have side resistance as well as the thing. And get you up over to here, or here, or here. Get over to here. 55% chance. Fire away. Come on. Okay. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take whatever damage I can get. I'll take whatever damage I can get. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, let's get you up to here. It's gonna be kind of funny. Let's get you up to here, and we're going to fire into their back. Oh come on, I needed that to land. Because I just want to get these guys into melee overwatch situations, basically. Get you up here as well. Alright, fine, let's. That's all we can do. It's fire. Oh, nice. Got the crit. I'll take it. That's good, at least. Get you up to... Here and fire, sure. So we can get a couple of shots in. 80% chance is pretty good. And we got the crit. Lots of wasted crits. I say wasted, but you know what I mean. Fire up over here as well. 30% chance. I'll take that for now, I suppose. Please don't miss and hit friendly. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. Pretty badly hurt. They'll trigger our overwatch there next turn. Uh, one way or another, hopefully. And that should be the end of them. Over here, how do we do this? Do we move up that way? Do we step over this way and fire onto the side? I think that's the way to go. So let's pull you up. Fire over here. Come on. Good stuff. Every little bit counts. Nice. Every little bit counts. You have some golden opportunities here. Wonder if we can't step this way. Let's do it. The missile out over here. Yep.
Go ahead. Very nice. And then you, unfortunately, you fired last time. A little worried about uh, MS Destroyer here. Hmm. If I go in, I can get into melee. Heal up a little bit this way. Get these guys stuck in on... Uh, on uh, Overwatch and whatnot. Do the same thing to you instead. You are able to come up to, what, about here? Fire down here. Maybe hurt these guys a little bit. Okay. You are able to get in here. Okay. Good to know my options. So in that case, let's go ahead and get you over here. Seems like kind of a bad call, doesn't it? Seems like kind of a bad call. Other options to just try and blow these guys' faces off. The reason why I want to claw is because it uh, will assimilate. Bring us back some health. Let's work over here. See if we can't make this work. Alright, so in we go. Good stuff. Assimilate, flanked, blah blah blah. Uh, you're still immobilized for this turn, unfortunately. Move you up here and fire down there. Could do. Try it. Okay. Ah, where are the crits when I need them? Still got some damage out. That's good. We can fire from over here as well. You're able to go in too. Uh, what I'm wondering is, do we want... Well, so first of all, there's the Arc Discharge, but that's only for... Um, that's a single enemy unit. And jump. Okay, right, right, right. Not all that much damage output. Because the other option, of course, is the Embrace of Darkness. Right, we can just drop that right on you. It's a fair bit of hurt. Try it, let's do it. These guys are also scary. Let's get rid of their commander here. There it is. Resisted Broken Mind, but it's okay. He's going to get the Broken Body, hopefully. Uh, I could sentence you. I don't think I need to. Let's go ahead and get you in there. Just short of a kill. But it's the only thing we can really do. Get you in there. Oh, got the crit. Beautiful. Oh, he teleported. God damn it. That's less beautiful. That is less beautiful. Um, I have to step over. Uh, I won't be able to get a shot in, unfortunately. Okay. All right. All right. Well played. Cleverly done. Uh, now, I could heal myself. I'm going to be used once for, per battle, but I do think I need to. I think if there's ever a time, it's now, right? We cannot destroy anything. The other option is, of course, to get a grenade in. If I can get a grenade in up over here, get these guys burning. But if I get focused down over here, we will lose MS Destroyer. So let's go ahead and fall back into safety. Oh, we cannot heal ourselves. Glad I checked. I was like, wait a second. Pretty sure it's only for allies. Okay. Well, in that case. In that case. Uh, let's see. I could pull back a step and fire. I could get up to here and throw the grenade in. I don't think it'll have that reach that I need. Let's try Let's get you up to here. I don't want to cower. And if the grenade won't reach, then I'll just go into defense mode. I'll just hit the one. Okay, well, let's go get you facing this way. Go into defense mode. And let's get you... Might as well sentence... Someone. One sentence you, because you're furthest back. Alternatively, defense mode. You know what, let's pull back and go into defense mode. And then next turn I can poke out and uh, and shoot. Cool. I believe that's the turn. It is indeed the turn. Okay, let's see what they do. Ah, goddammit. Well, I mean, I guess I prefer that. Oh, no, I don't. Ha, huh, not what I was thinking. Okay, Overwatch triggered over here. Alright, not bad. This has me a little worried. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't get crits. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We might lose these guys here. Your turn, you're going to fire up. Okay, okay, I don't mind that. 
I don't mind that. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, I wish I had consuming gaze over here. And we can step out and pop the rocket over here, so that's good to know. Uh, over here, we are wasting resources. Wasting resources over here. Can get you over to here to fire into them. Try it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now you're able to... Whoops. You're able to roll up and face smash over here and get the kill in. There might be better uses, though. Unfortunately, some of these units... Oh, we're going to be able to get a shot up there. That's good. You, we can get up to... Here to fire. You are already ready to fire. I could move you... Up to here. Get the shot in. Go. Come on. Down you go. Excellent. But all their commanders. Rather nicely, I might I might add. Uh, okay. So this is an interesting situation. How do we want to play this? Because Buddy here is in trouble. I might need to pull uh, MS Destroyer back. You are able to sentence. Okay. From up top, we're able to fire. We are blinded. Still can get some decent damage out, right? Uh, you could push into assimilate. All right, here's what I'm thinking. First things first, we are going to step forth with you. Oh, I really hope we can get the missile out. I think we might not be able to. Line of sight. God damn. Ah, that's unfortunate. Just slight miscalculation there. I can get the shot out over there. Might as well, I guess. Because by next turn, they might spread out. I mean, hopefully there is no next turn with these two units. Uh, you know, that would be ideal. Other options, of course, is safe for sentencing. Okay. Let's go ahead and dive on in over here. The melee will dive on with you as well into melee. Maybe up there instead, actually. Sure. And then you'll fire up over here, maybe 40% chance up there. You can get into melee over here as well. Okay, so fine. So I was just checking that so that I know that I should sentence these guys. Plus, they'll be easier to hit for our faraway troops as well, right? So you are able to step out and fire here. Okay, so you're able to go up over here into melee. I want the, ass the assimilation. Okay, let's go. I did not double right click there, so I feel like I must have clicked a shortcut that speeds up animations. Get you down over here. Oh, maybe I did double right, right click without realizing it. Come on. Face smash. And another one. Good stuff. You are going to go in there. You're going to finish the job. Nicely done. Enemy terminated. Do I hit you or do I hit you? I, mean, I, I sentenced these guys, so I should hit you. Bit of a bummer. If I step out and shoot, I don't think I'll destroy them. Let's, let's do the, the numbers here. I step out. I fire. Unless I fly, unless I get the crit, they're not gonna die. Foolish me, foolish me. How worried am I for MS Destroyer? I'm actually pretty worried for MS Destroyer. We're gonna pull her back. I think we're going to pull her back. Better safe than sorry, you know what I mean? Get you up to here. We'll fire. Could use my sniper for that shot first to get the flanking in. It's okay. End of the world. You're out of range. You can step up and fire, though. Go. Okay. Nice. Got the crit as well. Beautiful. Down you go. Beautiful. Jesus, 44 damage. Uh, we could get the little swiping over here. I think that's the way to go. Yep. Finish you off. Enemy terminated. Are you up over here? Might as well get you as far as possible, right? Go. Make sure you're facing the right way. Sorry, the Windows Update screen just popped up. That's why the sound and everything died for a second there. What the hell? <laughs> Now's not the time to update Windows. Come on. You know what's up. 
Good range. We can't... We won't be able to reach anything. I can get myself set up over here. So let's go. I mean, we might as well. But that'll, that'll be everything, right? We can't actually fire onto anything. I don't know. Oh, I didn't leave myself a point. thought it was blue. All good. Face that way. You're good. Let's get you moving up over to here. Alright. You're in there. You're facing this way as well. I wish you could, like... Just force them to surrender. I wish you could just force them to surrender. Um... Unfortunately, I do think I need to pull back into safety with uh, Emma's Destroyer. Otherwise, we could have got some more work done. Pull you all the way back to... Here. Not, uh, not retreating, not running from the battlefield, but, you know, getting into a good position for a sniper. She's a sniper. Why would she uh, stay, you know, in close range, right? Of course. Maybe should have healed first. Anyway, fine. Get you to fire down there. If we get a crit, that would be huge. Damn it. <laughs> Praying to the dice gods there. Oh, we can't miss. Ah, come on. That's not good. Still have you. I should have sentenced first. That's what I should have done. Okay. Pay the price for my hubris. Go up to here. Next turn, we can fire. Stuff. And, I mean, sure, we might as well sentence, right? Get you up to here. Sentence them. Because these guys will probably deal with in melee. Get you all the way up to there. These constructs, I can't believe they're going to survive. That is the turn. Now... Uh, not really going to do anything for me. I could do... Well, signal shredding isn't going to do anything either. 8 arc damage. Arc discharge is the only thing that is even remotely worth anything there. Which is... By which I mean, like, not actually worth anything. Uh, yeah, no. I think we're fine. Let's save the money and whatnot. Let's hit that end turn. See what the AI does. We might lose another unit, unfortunately. Oh, don't tell me. Unit has fallen. That sucks. Saw it coming, but not like that. Oh, we might lose this one as well. Don't you dare tell me. Just barely survived there. Okay. Okay. Can I get up there to heal? It is how many tiles? Seven tiles? Three tiles. So the answer is no then. I mean, I could get up here and heal. Okay, fine. Fine, so I can. I can. A little bit of damage out over here like so. First. Stuff. Uh, let's get you up there. Oh, okay, let's let's guarantee this end first, right? Guarantee this end. Let's get some of you from the back over here pushing up to fire. Go up here. You shoot. Down you go. Okay. So now unless I've horribly misunderstood and miscalculated things, I should be able to get up to here. Yeah, I should be able to get up to here, and then one, two, three, I think so. We'll find out. Either way, it's not the end of the world. I just like to get the heal in. There we go. Are you the best thing that's worth healing? Some of these things will heal at the end of the battle, if I'm not mistaken, by 12 anyway. So sure. Well done. And let's give you the glory of smashing these guys' faces in. Uh, let's, let's fire first. Nice, got the crit. Two and three. Down they go. Enemy terminated. My lord, what a fight. The assembly march on. Damn right the assembly marches on. A couple units there leveled up, I think. What do we get? One, two, three units leveled up. Four units leveled up. We lost the hopper hound? Oh, we did lose the Hopper Hound. Right, right, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. That wasn't too bad, though. We lost three units. Uh, not the end of the world. Some of them pretty replaceable. It will take some time to do the replacing, is the unfortunate truth. However, the knowledge we gained helped us complete our military research. Um, 
great. Could have, could have had something better. I do need to work on my knowledge, by the way. Some of you were pointing out I need to up my knowledge a bit. I do need to work on that. Okay, most of these units have all been healed up as well, so that's good. We're in, we're basically in fighting form. Uh, but yes, we definitely need to do some recruiting. Done here. Rotgar is ours. <sighs> I was hoping this would give me a chance to um, change it to make it an assembly settlement instead. But, okay, let's go ahead and... I don't want to... That's the thing, I don't want to migrate on top of this. Plus, as you guys have pointed out, that reputation damage definitely is not help is not going to help me. Um, okay, well, first of all, RT uh, Rock is, I believe, how the name suggestion was spelt. So there you go, Party Rock. Whatever happened to those guys, I have no idea. Um, next thing I have to deal with is this. Now this is kind of scary, right? So what we can do is that Hyperion we can replace the current. Hmm. Do we want to? If I do buys us a little bit more time. We can get the Firewall Scavenger out, or we can get the, uh... Hmm. I think I'd like to get the Scavengers out, because it's faster than getting the Murder.exe Vorpal Sniper out. If I swap it out now, I mean, we it literally helps us by a turn, and it looks like no one's getting too aggressive over here. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Now, this army is able to move down. But that's the thing. I have... I have two full stacks still. I have a little bit of, you know, modifying. I could have three full stacks against their three fullish stacks and the militia, of course. This is going to take some contemplating. I need to figure out how I want to approach this because, let's see, down over here, we're building. It'll take a turn. Building, building. Everything's building. I want to fill those gaps. If I, need, if I want to fill the three-unit gap, I should probably swap this construction over here and get the uh, Firewall Scavenger out instead. Put you up, three turns. Um, by the time we get anywhere significant, it will have been three turns there already. These guys are going to keep recruiting, that's the thing that worries me. You're able to move down south, okay, we should be okay. We should be okay. Now, the other thing to think about, some of you suggested, was... Uh, Maybe getting truce with these fools. You dare bother me, Party 1337? We will be watching your movements closely. Any threat to our colonies will be eliminated. Listen, man. Oh. Cannot perform this action while the other commander is recuperating. Interesting. Okay, that's unfortunate. But, makes sense. Can't do anything. Okay, fair enough. Well, the the idea was that maybe we go ahead and get ourselves a uh, truce with Javori or Delhi. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about the north. Is really, I mean, I'll go after them. Ten turns is enough time for me to get into a position where I can get pretty aggressive. They are quite large, though. They've got they've got one, two, three, four settlements for sure. And you know they have more over here. They've got at least five, maybe six. Maybe seven? I don't know. They've, they've, they've got a lot more than I'd like them to. And uh, that definitely makes me feel like I've missed a trick or two uh, with my expansion. But we've got one, two, three, four, five. Soon to be six. We're not that far off. We're not that far off. Over here as well, uh, buddy. What's his name? Nikhail Gorodin has done quite well for himself as well. Look at that. Very densely packed. Also got the infrastructure upgrades and stuff. Anyway. Can't compare, right? The grass is always greener. The grass is always greener. Three turns, this will be done. Are we going to make our moves down south? I feel like we should just sit tight for a little bit. I could recruit a trooper just to get the numbers out sooner rather than later. They are biological. It's not like we're completely averse to using bio like biological units and stuff in our armies. Right? We've We've done it. We use the hopper hounds. I could get them the mods they need to make them... Yeah, I could make them into cyborgs. Oh, just by simply, you know, adding the ocular implant. Giving them the arc retaliation defense. Though, that's not really worth it. They're not going to be used in melee. Consuming gaze. Oh man, look at that bump in damage output. 
from 9 and 8 to 11 and 10. And the Mark of the Dark Sun. Hmm. Could do this. It would literally make them cyborg, psionic cyborgs, which is my whole, you know, theme and get up. So it doesn't really break our, uh, our roleplay approach. We're literally making humans into cyborgs. Sure. Go ahead and save the template there. It's not going to be too expensive to make, so we can get one going. It'll probably take a little bit longer to make, but that's fine. 180. Fine. Need a name for it. Dagger Eyes? What a name. Soul Starer? Engrossing? Soul Starer? Mm. I need to like come up with a list of names. You guys should just throw in suggestions for unit names, and that way I can pick from a list when the time comes. Night Stare? Sounds a little cheesy. Uh, let's see, come on. Mindbreaker. These guys aren't, like, high tier enough to be called Mindbreaker. Looming. I don't mind that. Looming. Okay, interesting. Dagger Eyes. I can't get over Dagger Eyes. Night Stare. Sure, you know what? Let's go with Night Stare. We have a more eye-like thing. Uh, where is... That night stare? Sure, why not? It's more of a sniper kind of a thing, isn't it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the eye I was looking for. Sure, night stare troopers. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and get one out. It's going to take four turns, so let's see. Four turns, three turns. It's a one turn difference. After that, we will have six, ten, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-three. 23 units against theirs and their militia. And of course, we will be priming our uh, Vision of Darkness as well. And by then, hopefully, we'll have completed Shadow Manifest. That way, any units we lose, at least we can get the Echo of Despair out, right? All right, we'll see how that plays out for us. Now, military, we've completed our research thanks to our uh, battle there. That's quite helpful. Subjugation Ordinance, not a bad idea. Shredder Bomb. 12 of a damage type that I don't easily have access to. I mean, again, we do have the shotguns and the uh, Vorpal Sniper, but the Shredder Bomb just gives us more access to that. It'll only take one turn as well. The Flechette Ammunition is good as well. Now, Electromagnetic Utilization, we need to get this first. Advanced Bionics is pretty cool for those Flesh Terror Implants. Just quickly check, actually. Um, what would I swap out? That's the question, right? I guess I would get rid of this Dark Mark thing. I guess that's what I'd swap out if I got the claws. Hmm. And the remote systems purge isn't a bad idea either. I haven't had the chance to, like, need that. Like, I haven't ever felt the need for that, I guess. I mean, last battle, it could have been helpful. We got rid of the immobilized on our uh, golem or whatever it's called. I guess it, it does have its uses. Uh, adaptive systems over here gives us the cloaking implants. 40% harder to hit with all Overwatch attacks is not bad. Linear Accelerator, Supercharged Target Mechanical, or Cyborg Units, restoring all of its action points. Not bad. And there's the Deploy Constrictor. Summon a Constrictor onto a target Hex during combat. Uh, not a bad unit to have easy access to. Just trying to figure out if I want to do this to get to that, or if I want to do this to get this right away and get to that. You know what? I think that answers the question. I think the right away answers the question. Either way, we'll have it ready before the next battle. And there's auxiliary resource extraction. This is more for, uh, you know, base building and stuff. Don't hate it. But no, let's go with the subjugation ordinance. We'll get that one turn, and then we'll move on to, I think, electromagnetic utilization. Get those rail accelerators. Better accuracy, better range. That'll be really helpful, I think. Like four turns... Little five turns, yeah, and then two turns for the actual modding to complete. Uh, you know, maybe. Maybe we'll get it done in time. We won't get to here in time, but good thing to unlock as well. The other option again. Four turns. The application of bleeding is pretty big as well. That's the other thing to consider. The three turn damage. Hmm. Nah. 
we stick with uh, subjugation ordinance. Plus, it sounds really cool. Subjugation ordinance just sounds boss, right? So I'll stick with that. Close that. One turn for that, two turns for that. In a good position, I think. Uh, glad that went smoothly. Glad we've got Party Rock. Need a name for this. Need more names for uh, unit suggestions as well. And as soon as we can, I need to try and get a truce with uh, Javori or Delhi again. Like, it's just... Uh, can't fight a war on two fronts. It's going to hurt me a lot. We also have the war over here with these fools. Which I think is just silly. Like, come on. Ended. It's kind of pointless, right? Uh, I must decline as it does not align with my plans. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Let's see. Let's see. Get an alliance going, maybe? Yes? Okay. Proposal is welcome. We think alike. Proving our diplomatic state was the right thing to do. Now, will you help me against Shay Mara? No. They're already at war. Ooh, I don't like that they're at war with Nikhail Gorodin. Okay. I'm glad that we have an alliance. We need to get more allies, as many of you have been pointing out. We need to get more allies. Hopefully you don't dislike me for uh, my treaties with others. Yep. Nope. It's not aligned with your plans. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Maybe you don't align with my plans, man. Okay. I don't think he's too happy about me partnering with the other uh, assembly folk. But it's okay. They have their own little island over here. They, ha they It's like they're uncontested up here with their island. Meanwhile, I have to take care of Frank Vance as well as uh, Ardelli over here. Ardelli? I keep forgetting his name. Ardelli, yes. Kind of problematic. Next turn, the other thing that's good actually is we're going to finish the AI factory overseers. That'll help quite a bit, I think. That'll actually, that should help the uh, production rate down here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, that, that'll help quite a bit. In fact, this might become a bit of a unit recruitment hub. Either way. That's all looking to the future, folks. This is actually where we're going to call it a session. I think it was a pretty good, pretty well-balanced session. Ultimately, we got Party Rock. Uh, long battle, but we did a little bit of admin stuff as well. Took care of some details, of recruiting some more units. Everything's in place, I think, for a successful fall of Cavendon. A couple of things to take care of over here. We'll do all of that at the top of the next session. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.